Now, multiple sources confirm that she, in fact, did know about the surveillance and was responsible for the unmasking of people within the Trump team. Brian? Yep, I'll take it over, Steve. You just wait there. The president now weighing in <laughs> saying she may have committed a crime. So what's going on? Let's ask uh, Fox's senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, we know the president's not a lawyer. Right. Uh, was he right, though? Well, he's right that she may have committed a crime, and I can tell you what would be criminal. But we start out with what we know and what we don't know. We don't know exactly what Susan Rice did, but we know what she admitted to. She admitted to asking for the unmasking that is the revelation of the names of the people caught up in NSA intercepts, people who were working at Trump Tower. She claims that the reason she asked for their names was to understand conversations involving national security. So if the Russian ambassador is talking to somebody at Trump Tower and she gets the transcript of it to which she's entitled because she works for the president and they're involved in national security, it won't have the name of the American to whom he's speaking. Right. Here's what the statute says. If it is necessary to get that name in order to understand the conversation, she can get it. That's called unmasking. She can do that. The president can do that if they keep it to themselves and if the conversation is truly about national security. If they cause that name to get out in the public, then they have exposed a top secret national state secret. That's the same crime that Hillary Clinton probably committed when she put top secret information on a mm. non-secure email server. Well, on the other hand, if Susan Rice, and this is what the president is concerned about, and we don't know if she did this yet. I think an investigation will reveal whether or not she did. Unmasked names in conversations that were not national security right. related. Like, let's just say, Paul Manafort and candidate Trump discussing on the telephone or even in person his speech at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. If she got that and unmasked that, that's a felony. Well, that is the use of American intelligence for political purposes. Uh, there's a Republican congressman familiar with what some of the documents have said, uh, said that it's like a private investigator file, shows what the person is doing from morning until night. Um, with very little left to the imagination. Is that Peter it King? It sounds every day. I, I, I think it is. I think I heard Peter King say that on, on the show of one of uh, one of our colleagues. The unmasking of that is probably what the president is referring to, and that is clearly a felony because there is no legitimate national security purpose served by the unmasking. So Captain Harridge indicated that by requesting. It's not a crime. By leaking what I found is the crime. Yeah, Catherine's exactly, exactly correct. Is it not? Is it but, not? But a there is a request that can be a crime if she knows that the conversation is not about national security and oh. she gets the unmasking. She's just going to say, I thought it was about, I'm just checking to see if it is about well, national security. Well, the FBI security. will be able to confirm whether or not that I'm just checking is rational. Remember, she's not an investigator. She's not an FBI agent. She's not in the business of investigating what's going on. Is it on not a Trump crime Tower. to lie? Because two weeks ago she said, I didn't unmask. Then she comes out and says, I had to unmask because I needed to know it the is, context of the investigation. It is a crime to lie if she's under oath or if she's testifying Should to Congress? Should she testify under oath? Because you've got Senator Cornyn who wants her to testify under oath well, and many other congressmen. You also have uh, Rand Paul who says she should be subpoenaed. I'm smiling because do you want me to wear my judge hat or my defense counsel hat? <laughs> or, or my she's trying to undermine the Trump administration hat? Of course these congressional committees should call her to testify. If she's my client. I'm going to tell her not to say a peep because she's in jeopardy of being prosecuted for a felony. It's interesting because it sounds like it wasn't the first time the Obama team had survived veiled people because back in 2015 on the precipice of the Iran deal, it sounds like the intel community was looking into U.S. senators and talking to the Israelis so, to pressure them. And so that the president would know which U.S. senators were inclined to go yep. along with his Iran deal. Do you see the danger yes. in the misuse of intelligence data? How, how troubles come about right. and rights are violated when too much private information is in the hands of the and, government. And to your defense, we were on the air together and you said the Patriot Act worried you because of that. You said you're worried about where it could go. And now, now this has come to fruition. All right, Judge, thank, thank you, you very much. Pleasure, guys.